Anthony's in New York. Hi, Anthony. Welcome to the Dave hey. Ramsey Show. Hey, Dave. Thanks for taking the call. Sure. What's up? So my journey started when my wife got pregnant uh, in February. I kind of got overwhelmed with all my debt, and I started tackling that and tackling that. I paid off a lot of it since then. Uh, we just had our baby. Um, and our parents are finally moving home, but we're looking to buy a house. So my question is, should we're buying the house from them. Should we, I'm on babysat too, should we buy the house from them because it's a great deal at this point, or should we still have them keep the house currently in their name and just work on tackling our debt? And we don't have much left. I think I have about $23,000 left, which I plan to pay off by next summer. Okay, and so the, really the only question then is, the, come, house. the only question is, do we buy the house now or next summer? Yes. Next summer. And I have a, even if it's, like. It, it's going to be the I, same deal want, next summer. Yeah, it will be. Okay. But we're paying to live there anyways right yeah, now. it's no big deal. The waiting costs you nothing. No. Except no. just you're being impatient. And you want to buy a house. You got a new baby, and your wife said buy a house. And your daddy said he wanted to sell you a house, so you want to buy a house. But don't buy a oh, house when you're broke. Wife, you're still broke. I understand. My my wife's child at home. We've been living there for like seven, eight years, but they're finally gonna put it in our name, and they're gonna hold the mortgage. So um, that's why I was wondering if we should jump around. But I, I don't have much left, and I do plan to pay it off very fast. Yeah, but so next, next summer do the deal. And I'm going to give you another piece of advice that nobody in your family is going to like me when we're done. Um, I would not let them carry the mortgage. I'd just go get me a mortgage. No, they're doing uh, the, the personal note. They're going to get signed over. So it's all to the lawyers. They're not going to carry it. It's going to be in our name. But we're just making an agreement with them to buy it. Because we're both self-employed, so our income's not the highest. You're going to um, pay so them a mortgage payment. I would not do that. You're going to change the way Thanksgiving dinner tastes. How, how so? Well, the borrower is what? slave to the lender, and when you borrow money from someone, it changes your relationship with them. And no matter how sweet they are or how strong and dignified you are, that is not an option. It changes everything. You're going to do it anyway, but you're going to regret doing it, and you're going to remember the day that Dave Ramsey told you not to do it going to come back and bite you in the butt. Please don't do this. Hey, thanks for the call. The old joke is if you loan your brother-in-law $100 and he never speaks to you again, was it worth it? When you do debt transactions with someone, you are enacting a universal truth that is independent of your wishes, your thoughts, or your desires. You are a slave, even if you have a nice master. Even if your master is loving and kind, you still have a master. Even if your master is your father-in-law, you still have a master. The borrower is slave to the lender. Don't screw up relationships borrowing money or loaning money to people. You're going to get yourself in a pinch, folk. Don't do it. 30 years of me watching what causes cancer. That causes cancer. 888-825-5225. 